Kevin. What do you have hey. there? Uh, this is called a a four cube tesseract, and it's uh, another one of those geometric shapes that I like to play with. You know, beat my head against the wall trying to figure out how am I going to make that. And I was just trying to get all the, all the welding done on it. You know, I've got it tacked together. I've got a few of the welds done, but just slow and steady working at it. You know, do it a little bit, quit, let it cool off. Do it a little more, let it cool off. Try not to work the heck out of it. And I thought, well, if I'm going to do a little more welding, then I'll break out the AHP Alpha TIG over here and get a little more experience with this machine. So I've got my I've got my starting amps at about, about 25. We'll start out right about there. I've got my uh, main amps at 105. And then my ending amps are down right about 25, 24, right in that area, same as the starting amps. The, the pulse is turned off. You know, I've got it set to, to TIG weld in DC with 4T, so that means the finger control on the torch will work, and no pulse, and set to TIG weld for the controls. And I got straight argon, turn the bottle on, don't forget that. Now you watch how this arc starts. Now it just seems to be so nice and clean and clear. Doesn't wander around anywhere. to readjust a little bit here, just let me get in a different position. And it just seems to move along just so nice. Kind of has a different sound to it. Yeah, it does have a little different sound to it. You know, it's got more of a hiss at the torch. Uh, you know, not annoying or anything, but you know, the other ones, you know, more of a sizzle. You know, this one is just kind of a really low little hiss. You know, I, I think the fan on this is a little bit quieter than the other ones that I use. Uh, you know, the consumables seem to last a long time. One of, one of the other things, here you go. Here's something else to keep in mind with this, this machine. A 60% duty cycle on this machine. You know what that means? Tell us. So for, let's say, 10 minutes of welding, well, 10 minutes of time, 60% duty cycle means you can weld at a full amperage with this machine for 6 minutes. The other ones, 25% duty cycle. So you can get a lot more work done with this machine. The only drawback that I've found is, for me, with my big paws, this little 17 series torch, I get hand cramps. <laughs> the torch is just so tiny, it's so tiny in my hand. You know, I would like a bigger torch on it myself, or maybe even put a water cooled on it. But other than that, what a nice, nice little machine. So you want to see the stick welder? Sure. Okay. Hang on a minute. Let me change it around. Got all dressed up for this. I smell like a wet cow. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, when I when I work with uh, stick, when I work with MIG, I like to just go ahead and put the leather on, having those sparks go down your shirt, go down your pants. Oh, I hate doing the chicken dance, you know, standing here hopping around like a numb nut. So, change this machine over from TIG to stick welding, it's so easy. Your stinger, in the port on the front, mark stick. Change it from TIG welding to stick welding and get to work. <laughs> wow. So we just fire them back up and adjust our amperage accordingly. And we run in some 8 inch 7018 welding rod. So open it up to about 95 amps. You know, give that a shot, do a little test, see how well it works. I may go up, I may go down a little. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, what the heck, let's go to AC just for the heck of it. I like welding in AC for some reason. 
Now, why would you make that decision? What's that based on? Personal experience. I, I got a hold of a of a can of 7018 a, uh, 7018H3AC a while back. I had no idea what I was buying. I was just looking for some welding rod. I tried it on AC. Fabulous. Fabulous welds. So every now and again, I'll just switch it back over. You know, I'll try the different rods on AC. You know, this one does not say it's for AC, but try it and see how well it works. You know, I've used it before. This rod, I've used it before. I know it works pretty good. Uh, I don't know. For me, it just seems a little easier than straight DC. It seems a little cleaner. I don't know. I'm still learning with this thing. Oh, this is some quarter-inch plate left over from a, a gong that I'm making for a commission. You know, I just cut the corners off just to kind of round it off just a little bit. So I thought, I'll just go in and make a little inside weld right there so you can see how this thing works. It actually has a surprise. You know, this machine, they have some it's smoke and mirrors as far as I know, but they have some anti-stick technology built into this. So when you're stick welding, it's harder to actually stick the electrode. I don't know how it works, but it does work pretty good. So let me show you. These are well pretty good too. a little different sound because it's running on AC. But just for the heck of it, let's switch it over to DC. There we comes the Christmas present time, taking the slag off. Oh boy! Now what about people who say, only drag, don't, te don't peck at it? Then why is it called a chipping hammer if you're not supposed to chip at it? It's not called a drag hammer. It's not called a brush gently at it hammer. It's called a chipping hammer. Is that because people are just pecking at it too hard? Yeah, yeah, a lot of guys will sit there and just wail on it, trying to get the slag to pop up. You don't have to. See this section right here I haven't chipped yet? Yeah. Set up. Yeah, I think I'm going to steal this one and take it home. <laughs>